Internet of Things is often called the fourth industrial revolution that's coming in. And uh, the impact will be everywhere. I don't think uh, it's like the internet, right? There was a world before the internet and there was a world after the internet. And most things changed. Everything didn't change, but a lot of things changed. There are few applications that you may not have noticed, but they see are all around you are already IoT enabled. So let's take the example. Let me give you three examples. Uh, vehicle tracking systems. Pretty much every commercial vehicle now has a vehicle tracking system. Sometimes it's a SIM card inside a phone, inside a cab. Very often it's embedded inside a panel, which the uh, cab driver or the trucker uses. Um, or sometimes it's just installed, installed somewhere near the engine. But commercial vehicles already use tracking. To, and they have SIM cards in them to know where they are in the country at any point of time. They used to collect information to make sure that there's a breakdown, you know where the, where the car or the truck is. They used to understand if the vehicle is in good shape, so it collects a lot of data. They use for emergency systems. Uh, and so you know a lot about a fleet. If you're running a fleet today, chances are you're already using a ton of our SIMs for vehicle tracking. Uh, I'll give you another option, example, um, point of sale systems. So if you go today to any restaurant, some guy will, waiter will walk up to you or when the guy gives you the bill uh, and you give him a, a credit card or a debit card, you plug it into the machine, you type your PIN, magically the receipt comes out. There is a SIM card inside that box that makes it happen. Again, it's everywhere. You don't notice it, you don't think of it as IoT, you don't think of it as a SIM, but it's a part of life. And there are more and more things like that happening. Very few electricity meters in the country have people who are actually showing up and writing meters. And they are becoming automated at a very fast pace. So with a SIM card in them, the data of how much electricity you use is simply uploaded once a month. Um, so it saves a trip, it saves errors, it saves mistakes. If a meter is faulty, then the electricity board comes to know very quickly. It enables a lot. So these are the impact of IoT will, not, will be very, very pervasive. I don't know how visible it will be. So all the three things that I mentioned have already happened. Right? They've changed the way we do life. But we don't think of it as IoT. And that's what IoT is all about. IoT is about building thousands of applications uh, that you would never have thought of as possible. Uh, but you don't necessarily think of it as IoT or a big revolution. So it's actually billions of little things. It's exactly the opposite of the smartphone. The smartphone revolution was very visible. Right? You could see people putting a big screen phone on their desk. You could see a beautiful iPhone or a beautiful Samsung phone uh, being placed on the desk where people, people wanted to show it off. And it's a very visible revolution. IoT is the opposite. It's going to be an invisible revolution. As Airtel, of course, our role is always been a little bit more invisible than the others. We enable a lot. And IoT will be a place where a telco, especially us as Airtel, are keen to play a bigger role. Uh, so our role will be to enable these applications. Our role will be to make sure that we have large numbers of SIM cards which are affordable, which are available, which have the innovation required to make it to make all these other services work on top. So our role will be really to form the underlying layer for IoT in the country. Uh, globally what's happening is the cost of these devices are coming down and the battery life is going up. So think of your watch today, right? Today if you buy a, you know, if you buy a fitness tracker, you need to recharge it every three days, four days, connected to Bluetooth, needs your phone nearby, so on and so forth. Now imagine a fitness tracker that doesn't need Bluetooth, that doesn't need to be recharged, just like your watch. You don't think about recharging it. You'll change your battery once in three or four years, but that's about it. And the technology for that is now ready. The technology for that is uh, a low power wide access uh, spectrum, LBWA as it's called. Chipsets are ready, networks are getting ready, applications are getting built. I would say 18 to 24 months from now, you will see a massive explosion in these kinds of devices that are available. And the applications that will enable will be everywhere, will be absolutely everywhere. So if today my estimate is maybe about 8 to 10 million SIM cards in the country are running on IoT, I think that number will go up 200 times. And that's really, uh, that's really the opportunity. Even in the near future, I think 3 to 5 years from now, we will have as many IoT SIMs as we have people in the country.